Hello and welcome back to Stuart Thomas Media and another episode of Stu's Reviews. So today, we're going to take a look at this. The card phone. At just 4.8mm thin, 88mm long and 51mm wide, this phone is one of the smallest phones on the planet. It comes in a variety of colours and has a 0.9 inch colour display. Before we begin, let's take a look at the packaging. On the back, we have card phone and on the front, we have card phone. So undeniably, this must be a card phone. Now we also have a sticker that says green on it. And on the inside, all we have is a charging cable and the phone sits there. So really, it's quite a nice, neat packaging and very simple, but it is just packaging. Now the first thing you'll notice about the card phone is it's very, very small. And that's what it's designed for. It's designed to be an emergency phone or a very small lightweight phone that can fit inside your wallet. So being credit card size, it's quite ideal to do so. Let's take a closer look. As I said earlier, it's 4.8 millimeters thin and it's about the size of a credit card, which makes it incredibly small and incredibly light. There is a built-in battery which has about 320 Mars. What that means, I'm not sure, but I think it will equate to about three or four days of battery life. It has a flush, smooth front, so none of these buttons are raised, they're all kind of in the screen, which to me makes it feel like it will be quite rugged, potentially water resistant, I don't know. I might test that at some point. Anyway, um, on the top here, it's got an unusual thing to fit on your key ring as well, so I guess you could even have this phone on your key ring. Hmm. What is this phone capable of? Well, Online, you can see the description, and there are six adverts for this phone, which tells us more about it. And I want to run through them now, because I think they are incredibly informative. Number one, long standby time, slimmest card phone, powerful, upgrade than others. Number two, vibration and mute function. Small but full function. It will not miss anything when you have meeting. Why they've chosen a pink one and a woman to demonstrate the vibration function, I'm not sure. Hmm. Number three, the fuselage with sole. The function is much. You are worth it. We're worth it. <laughs> I'm worth it. And we're worth it. Of course we're worth it. Because we're worth it. I'm worth it. You are worth it. Number four. Alarms. Don't have to worry about get up late. My boss will be very happy. Number five. Go back to be natural. Not to be addicted to phone. Give back your health. Relax your eye and your body. How did it know that my eyes and body were hurting from using my current phone? Number six. Insert your GSM Nano SIM card, not support WCDMA card. Okay, well that's more informative than stupid. Moving on. As usual, the question is, does it function? And if it does, how well? So let's jump straight in. I haven't turned this on yet, but I think I just pressed this button here. Oh, I've got a welcome on screen. I'm sure that noise was from a different phone. 
Okay, they could be plagiarizing there a little bit, but actually the screen looks pretty cool. Let's take a closer look. Right, so it's searching, apparently. Okay. It's got the wrong date and the wrong time. Hold on. No, oh, it's got the oh, almost the right time, but not quite there. Uh, oh, it says emergency. Ah, now this could be a problem. I think this only supports 2G networks, whereas I'm with 3, which only use a 3G network. Okay, well, never mind. Let's ignore that. If we have a look then at what this does, let's go to menu. Ooh, hey, well, it's colourful. Okay, so it's got phone book, call centre. Oh, why would I want to speak to a call Oh, okay. Call history. Right, that's better. Uh, messaging, organiser. Okay, calendar, alarm, calculator. Settings, profiles. What's that there? Oh, different settings. Uh, Bluetooth. Why would you want Bluetooth? I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on and back to phone box. So it's quite a bog standard phone. It's got bog standard functionality. Uh, what else does it do? There's no games on here. Well, I've become accustomed to having games on my phone, but there's nothing on here. Okay, that's a bit boring, but still. Uh, menu. Well, do you know what? That's quite impressive. For something this size, it feels quite nice as well. The buttons feel very good, but it seems to work pretty well. Except the fact that I can't call anybody because I'm on three. Bloody stupid. The price comes to just seven to ten pounds or around that mark. And I'll leave a link below where you can find it. I'll talk more about this in the conclusion in just a second, but guys, remember, if you are looking for discounts on any product you've seen me review on Stu's Reviews, check out the Stu's Review Club before you buy. If you sign up for about $1 a month, you can get access to exclusive discounts on a lot of different products over on there. I really like it. It's small, it's light, it's thin, it does what it says on the tin, and it ticks all those boxes for me. It's certainly for a niche use. So somebody who is traveling and only wants to speak to people over the phone, potentially someone who wants an emergency phone with them in their wallet, just in case their phone runs out of battery or something. It's certainly good for that type of person. I wouldn't say it replaces the function of my smartphone, but with that in mind, I think it's a great little phone. So guys, if you like the review, don't be afraid to go ahead and hit that like button, head on over to the subscribe button, and then share if you're feeling nice. And I'll see you back on Stuart Thomas Media for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.